The house needs to speak to the house. It's this beautiful Edwardian home in Cabbage Town. And then you walked in, and it felt like you were in an IKEA showroom. So with Ray buying this house, I needed to sort of incorporate her personality into it. Her personality is amazing. Well, I met with Ray at her old house. You know, she's someone that I've known from the past, but I really got to know her through this journey. And what I really wanted to do was I wanted this house to be like Ray. So she's fresh, she's light, she's beautiful, she's sweet, delicate, airy. So that's how I sort of took this home. I think to achieve this airy look, you have to be very careful in your color palette choices because if you put, let's say, a white white that has an undertone of blue with another soft white that has the undertone of yellow, it can end up looking a bit dirty. So it's really important to choose the whites and the taupes and the grays and the soft pinks that all have the same undertones of colors. I guess my favorite room would be the living room. It's cozy. I've been able to inject some pinks without it being overly pink because there is a man that lives here. You can sit in the living room. You can look outside. There's a fireplace. There's cozy sofas. Just a lot to look at. Well, I started off with using a very neutral color, which is great white. It's a great neutral. It's happy. It's cozy. It's fresh. It's clean. And from there, we just layered neutrals, a lot of linens, a lot of taupes, a lot of soft grays. And then we injected a little bit of floral that wasn't too Laura Ashley-ish. We also added some vintage pieces along with some more contemporary modern pieces. So it wasn't so stuck in an era. We designed the kitchen around Ray's personality. And we made sure that it was very fresh and inviting, but it was also practical because she loves to cook and she loves to entertain. But again, we wanted it just as light and airy as her personality. So how I wanted the kitchen to relate to the family room, which was all connected, was I wanted it to be a place where you can gather and be very comfortable. I wanted it to look like a cloud. And at first, I was a little apprehensive about the size of this sofa. But you know, guys, bigger, better, you know, big TVs, big couches. So how I managed this large honking sofa was to have it designed in a softer, lighter fabric so it wouldn't feel so heavy. But that way, it sort of gave Charlie his comfy, sort of Sunday leisurely afternoons, and also gave Ray the pretty airiness. The built-ins were actually here. However, it was done in that maple wood. So we threw on some Oxford white paint, added some new hardware, and of course added all the pretty accessories that Ray loves. Ray is really good at accessories, which is very good at sourcing. So she was a great help with all these built-ins. In the dining room, what I love is the grass cloth. I love how it's like a cloud, but it's not too girly. I love the dining room chairs. You can actually sleep in those chairs, so it's great for dinner parties. Ray loves to have guests who love to sit and relax and eat and enjoy their wine, eat all their delicious food, yet it's also a man's world in there too. I love picture moldings. I think it gives detail to any house. We went one step further is we actually put in cashmere, grass cloth, herringbone, wallpaper into the picture moldings. It's very hard to see, but it gives it that one more element of coziness and richness. It's almost like a cashmere sweater is on the wall. What we did in the powder room, we decided to use wallpaper. And this wallpaper in particular is totally ray. It's fresh. It's vintage. It's pretty, but it's also a little bold without being too much drama. I can't tell you how many times I've been in this house, and every time I walk into the foyer, I can't stop smiling. It's just so happy. There's so much love and prettiness, and, and I just never want to leave.